when I was given the opportunity to deliver this Pecha Kucha or Pecha Pecha, and as we have learned, both are correct. Yeah, it's a bit of a tomato, tomato situation. Anyway, I said yes, without any idea what I wanted to PK about. Yeah. Then I remembered he had been told to pivot, not panic, to zoom, not gather, and to get ready every day because routine is still important. Basically, I remembered that we are living in a time of absurdity and we survive by embracing, not fighting, the wildly unreasonable, often ridiculous, and sometimes inappropriate circumstances of day-to-day -day life. We know it looks different for everyone, but here's what it looks like for me. After six weeks in confinement, I've become very honest. Like when I bought two mini trampolines and my three-year-old daughter asked why, I looked her in the eye and said, because you and your brother don't share well, frankly, I can't deal with it anymore. I've also learned that I'm cool with school not teaching cursive anymore, because you know what else schools don't do anymore? Beat children. Yeah, it's called progress. Turns out, something to think about. Sometimes, sometimes with progress, we do take two steps forward, one step back, which is why I think we should organize a find the edge movement. Just round up all those flat earthers, get them riled up, send them off in search of the edge. And if they find it, great, maybe they'll fall off. Can kids be assholes? Of course they can. Here's my real question. At what age are we allowed to sit them down and have an intervention? Try and nip that in the bud. You know, you're kind of being an asshole. Let's come up with a three point plan, get you back on track. We are all learning from home now. I've learned that uh, 45 consecutive days of mediating conversation between a three and six year old is my cracking point where I no longer care if I swear in front of my children. They're learning four letter words. It's a win-win for everyone. Speaking of which, when I, a mother of two, desperately trying to work from home, see Facebook posts about having extra time and, and what I should be doing with it. Is that cyberbullying? I think it is, yeah. So there's a small part of me that wishes my children were less popular because then I wouldn't have to share my phone with them for hours every day while they FaceTime their little friends. I'm over it. I just want my phone back. I know we're worried about divorce rates. But on the bright side, when a parent goes out for a gallon of milk, they have to come back now. There is nowhere else to go. We are trapped in our homes. Yeah. I used to hate running. I did. Turns out, there just wasn't enough crazy shit in my life to run from. Now, I love it. I run every day. It is my only sense of freedom. My daughter knows her vagina is a vagina, but she likes to call it her business. And that seemed really harmless until I started working from home and making business calls. Now it's really awkward. It just gets super weird. Hey, Michiganders, Mother Nature is a mother, which means she's freaking out like the rest of us. Maybe we could lay off our criticism of her erratic emotional weather patterns. I don't know. Something to consider the next time you complain about it. My backyard brush pile, basically the Fertile Crescent, yeah. It is the proud mother of two batches of feral cats and currently home to Patrick the possum, which is very exciting as a distraction 
from all of those Zoom calls that we are now experiencing and not focusing on my chin and trying to find a decent angle. Yeah. The, the other routine distraction that does happen that's less exciting is that my, my daughter, while fully potty trained, is not hoop trained. So in the middle of the call, she ends up taking a massive diaper dump. And then I just have to sit there in the meeting and, and smell it and pretend like that's not happening. And then when the call's over, I get to go change her poop. So it's not a happy ending for me, ever, with Zoom. Yeah. So I drink a lot. And I thought about keeping all my empties to try and make some kind of statement art piece about Corona during consumption and, and all that. And then I realized the only statement I would be making is that I drink a lot of boxed wine and it's just not as classy as an empty bottle for an art piece. But it's fine uh, because my six-year-old son likes to take my empty boxes and make elaborate cardboard installations in our living room every day without fail. And as you can see here, he is putting those boxes to really annoying and get creative work. So there's that. Well, thank you. This has been your six-week absurdity check from the Macmillan Shelter-in-Place Experience. I encourage you to save all of your packaging so your children can clutter your living room and also drive you completely insane. <laughs>